Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying some insomnia cookies. We have seven insomnia cookies to be exact and one big brownie. We've actually reviewed uh, insomnia cookies in the past. I'm gonna tell you which ones we've had. We've had their peanut butter, their chocolate chip, their double chocolate, and their sugar cookie. Um, out of all the ones that our daughter Ashley has tried, she likes the sugar cookie the best. Mm. Uh, but what the deal is, is they are offering a free, a free, they're offering free six cookies, uh, six free cookies to teachers with a purchase. So if, if a teacher goes in there with their ID and, and they purchase, let's say, a cookie, a one cookie, then they can get six more absolutely free. So um, Ashley uh, uh, wanted to know what I like to go over there. So I actually went to Insomnia Cookies with her. It's a, it's a very small place. Um, in our area, it's on UK campus, which is University of Kentucky. And uh, so she... Um, the only one they didn't have for me to get was the snickerdoodle. They were sold out of the snickerdoodle. Uh, but she got three sugar cookies for herself, and then I picked out the rest. Uh, I did pay for what you see here, and then her, uh, well, I guess for the big ones, plus the brownie would be what it was. Yeah, the big ones was, I paid 15 $15.64. It was really $14.75 and then you have to pay tax. These are actually called deluxe cookies and can you hold one of those up? And then these are the regular size cookies. So you can see the difference. The deluxe is <clears throat> much, much larger. The original Heavy. ones were the ones that they're giving the teachers. But you can pick whatever you want. So if Ashley had wanted all sugar cookies, she could have gotten those. Uh, so the ones we have for you, I have the brownie. I have an M&M, it looks like chocolate chip M&M. Um, I have an oatmeal raisin. I have a mint chocolate chip. And then Kevin, we have, I don't know if this was called a confetti. I'll have to look up the name of it because, let's see, it might be on this one. Um, yes, it's called a confetti, deluxe confetti. And then we have a... Uh, peanut butter, uh, peanut butter chocolate. Uh, we it's have like a, a peanut butter cup. Probably. It's that's what it is. Peanut butter cup. That's it. And then we have a salted caramel, and then we have s'mores. Yes, peanut butter cup. That's what it was called. That's what it looks like. Okay, so why don't we try the brownie first? Okay. Sure. And these, when they give them to you, the boxes are warm because that's how they give them to you, warm. Um, but Ashley said they're going to be ooey gooey no matter what. So, mm. that's a really good brownie. It's got a good chocolate flavor. Good texture. It's got that little crisp um, topping to it. It's very thick. Mm -hmm. So it's very, very good, and it's not overly sweet either. So in a good way, it's not just not a sugary sweet brownie. That brownie was three twenty five, but it's huge. Mm -hmm. And if you were to get that same brownie at a restaurant, they're going to charge you double that because yeah. their desserts are very expensive when you go out to eat. That, that is a delicious It's brownie. very, very good. Very, very ooey, ooey mm -hmm. gooey. Um, this is the, um, it's called Double Chocolate Mint. It's and good. Yeah. It, they're very, very soft. It looks like it almost has mint M&Ms on them. Mm. Or mint chips. Mm-hmm. Mmm. It's good. It tastes like a York peppermint paint patty. A little bit. It's um, the chocolate's a little darker, but oh, yeah, it's wonderful. I agree. It's very, very good. Not one that I would want all the time because mm -hmm. I don't want mint all the time. No. But that really, really reminds me of like a peppermint patty. Yeah, it's good. In that deep dark chocolate, but it's not bitter to me. No, not at all. That one's wonderful. Uh, this is the M and M's. 
So I said M and M chocolate chip just because I see chocolate chips. Yeah. But they're calling it just M and M. I tell you what, they put plenty of stuff in, don't mm -hmm. they? That's good too. And that is just a. I think that is just their basic sugar cookie mm -hmm. with the addition of the M&M's and uh, chocolate chips. It's good. It's delicious, yes. Yeah. Uh, this is the oatmeal raisin, which um, I love. I love good oatmeal raisin, especially it has a little bit of cinnamon in it. A little bit. It does. Mm. You can actually see the oats in that. Mm -hmm. That's good because raisins and cinnamon go really good together. It's full of raisins. Mm -hmm. The raisin's really delicious. Good. It's chewy. I like that one out of all the other ones. Except the brownie. Um, okay, so this plate, what would you choose? The oatmeal one. You would? Um, the brownie's good, but if it's $3 or something, I'd probably just buy a couple of those old. Uh, raisin cookies. The brownie's yeah. a different experience in a mm -hmm. cookie. You it know, is. the brownie, it's thicker, it's it's bigger. Uh, of course, out of all those, I'm going to pick the brownie too. But between the cookies, I do like that oatmeal mm -hmm. raisin a lot. Yeah, it's really And good. I like the chewiness of it because of the oats. The cinnamon is not overpowering. No, no, no. That's a perfect amount of cinnamon. Yes, these are delicious. I'm assuming you want to do the confetti. One. Yes. Ashley was very, very curious about this one um, how this would taste. Because it looks like it has white chocolate chips in it. Mm -hmm. And the back is really colorful. That'll be hard to beat. Mm -hmm. That's a really good flavor. The texture is outstanding. Good, yeah, and a really good um, um, flavor, vanilla flavor too. I'm telling you, the texture is like a five out of five. Yeah, it's almost like it's um, it's not warm, but it's almost like it came out of the oven. Well, yeah, it's a softer kind yeah. of texture. It's really good. It's not crispy, but it's like they let it just start to get just a hint of mm -hmm. crisp on it, and then they took it out of the oven. Yeah, yeah, it's good. If anything, like uh, the funfetti flavor, that's what that tastes like in that cookie. Mm -hmm. It's it's absolutely delicious, and I love uh, the the texture is just incredible of that. Um, the caramel. Let's try the s'mores. This one. Yeah, and then we'll do the salted caramel. So this is s'mores. And mm -hmm. Ashley called my attention to the name because I didn't even realize that it was s'mores. It's soft. Gooey texture. Mm. Actually, tastes marshmallow. I was gonna say, that's amazing. Most of the time, when you get something s'more, you don't taste the marshmallow ninety no. percent of the time. Oh wow! Now I don't get graham from it like a s'more, but it it definitely reminds me of a s'more. That's incredible. I don't think I've ever had a s'more cookie that was that bad. Mm -hmm. It's very, very good. And again, the middle of these cookies is kind of squishy and gooey. It has everything going for mm -hmm. it. I don't know that Ashley's ever had that one. I'm going to tell her about that That's one. That's good. Because I mean, it's good and sweet. It, it is incredibly sweet, but that marshmallow is so strong, mm -hmm. the flavor is. And once again, the texture, it's so ooey gooey. It's terrific. Good. Okay, you want to do salted caramel? I'm just kind of breaking these in half and then going from and there. And these flavors, from what I saw, were not available in the original ones, the regular ones. You had, if you wanted these special flavors, you had to get them in the deluxe cookie. That's good. It's a little, it's a little plain, or at least the bite I got was, compared to the like the confetti and the and the s'mores. It's a little plain. 
Once again, texture, mm -hmm. five out of five. That reminded me of eating like a raw dough. Mm -hmm. It's that soft. It, um, but you get like, you do get salt. Mm -hmm. You still get a lot of sugar. Oh, yeah. Um, I say forget the regular size cookies and go yeah, for the just deluxe. Go for the, deluxe. the outside has got this little, the outside ring has this little crispness. That's there. what I'm saying. It was, they yeah. just kept it in the oven just, just long, long enough, enough to get that crispness on the outside and the inside. Yeah. yeah. Phenomenal. This is the one I'm really looking forward to. That's why we wanted to save it for a while. Yeah. This is uh, the peanut butter cup. Oh, there's a huge hunk right there. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I need one that. You can see the outside of the peanut butter cup. Mm-hmm. That's good, but it's not my favorite. It's delicious. It is very, very good. The it's, peanut butter is good. It's and rich. Yes, it's very rich. You really taste the peanut butter. Um, I even think you taste the butter mm -hmm. from the cookie itself. What is your favorite of those? The s'more. Um. Yeah. That or the, it, the, the confetti one. Either one of those is really good. Honestly, it's hard to choose one because I like them all so I do too. I mean, very, honestly, very much. pick one and go for it. Um, I think you'll like them. Yeah, you're not going to go wrong with these. Um, that s'more, I'm telling you, that it's probably my favorite s'mores we've ever mm -hmm. had. Uh, in, a, in a cookie like that, just because it's so good. Um, gosh. I, I don't know that I can choose. Mm -hmm. I just think mm -hmm. I just like them all so yeah. much that I, I would not turn any of them down. Just depending on your taste, you're not going to go wrong with these. But I truly, even though these were good, the regular cookies, um, even though they're they're very good, the, the, the texture is different in these. These are smaller cookies, so they're still gooey. They're still soft. But with this having being so much bigger you get extra gooeyness to mm -hmm. it and and just the, the flavors are just so spot on what they're supposed to be those are a little thinner and crisper yes there's... um but if you have one of these insomnia cookies near you if you have not visited them you need to go yeah. and i know people will say in the comments you should have heated them up at the microwave yeah you can and they're just going to be i'm telling you i'm giving them a five out of five as it is so if you heat them up in the microwave, it's just, you, you didn't get much better than that. It's of course it's gonna be better. So- But if you um, wanna just grab them and go, then- Then they're perfectly yeah. fine. But just know when you buy them there, um, I'm sure a lot of people eat them as they're going out the door because- um, That's not good. Uh, yeah, because they're <laughs> warm. Uh, the, the, the location on the University of Kentucky campus, they're all, it's so small that only two customers can come in at a time right now because it's, it truly is right. a little, it reminds you of one of those little photo booths where you used oh, to drop wow. off your film. Yeah. It's pretty small. It's a little corner shop. Um, so only two customers right now wear a mask, of course. Um, I tried to pay with cash and she said, we're not taking cash right now. I said, that's fine. I've got a card. I always have a card, but I just figured I had this cash. I'd use cash, but they're not taking cash right now. That's at that location. So just know that. Uh, but yeah, if you haven't tried these, I would try them as soon as possible. And if you're a teacher, see if they have this deal in your area. Uh, if you're not in Kentucky, um, I know they have these, uh, insomnia cookies lots of different places see if that uh, deal is available in your area so i hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching